Hello and welcome to some more Football Manager 2021 and part two of the Euro 2020 challenge where I am going to be trying to take all 24 nations to the Euro 2020 title. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button for more FM content. And without further ado, let's head over to the Wheel of Fortune. You guys will know from the thumbnail who I got, but I haven't found out yet. And uh, as you can see, all 24 nations are on that uh, Wheel of Fortune. So we will find out very, very shortly who we are going to pick who, or who we are going to be in control of. I'd quite like somebody a bit different, maybe a North Macedonia, maybe uh, an Austria, Sweden, that sort of nation. I think I would quite like that. So uh, we're going to give it a few clicks. Um, you can hear me clicking it in the background, hopefully. And it comes up, and it is hungry. Or, or is it, oh, I thought maybe it was going to just dribble over into uh, Italy, but it didn't quite. Uh, so we have removed hungry now. And, uh, well, I mean, that is... That is going to be some challenge, uh, certainly with them being in the, the group of death as well. It, it is going to be very, very tough. So uh, here we go. We're going to we're going to pick Hungary and uh, I'll see you guys when we get to our first match against Germany, Spain or Portugal. Ah, no, it's not. I think it's Germany, France or Portugal, isn't it? Either way, we're screwed. Okay, so here we go for the first match of the competition then uh, against defending champions Portugal. And uh, the good old quick pick button is what we are using here. Um, yeah, you guys will probably know the Hungarian squad a lot better than I do. Um, I recognise Dominic uh, Sh Shobazlai Shob uh, from the Villa Save. He played for Man United for many, many years. So I'm hoping that that means he's pretty good. Um, we've got Will, Willie Auburn. Uh, I've, of course, heard of, of Peter Galashi as well, um, if that's how you pronounce it. But it's going to be an uphill struggle. This is probably the hardest challenge of the lot. If we get out of the groups, that will feel like a massive victory. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see how we get on. Come on, Hungry. It's coming home. To Hungary, because uh, we all know that actually football was uh, invented in, in Hungary. Um, I'm not sure if, if you guys know that. Not many people do, uh, even though I've just said we all know that. But hey, I'm not bothered. I'm really, really pumped for this. And once again, I have to do the stupid uh, stuff on this. So we need to bump that up a little bit, probably to about there. And there we go. So Portugal already on the on the counter attack. Um, camera height. We want that a little bit lower. Zoom almost fully in. Okay, right here we go then. So Guerrero to Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's uh, Danilo now to João Moutinho, and that fizzes just wide of the post. But uh, it's nil nil after ten minutes. That's a success. Here's Bernardo Silva, now to Moutinho, now uh, Kalmar on the ball for Hungary. Here we go, pushing forward now, uh, Orban to uh, Nego on the right-hand side to Kalmar. Back to Nego, into the middle. Oh, it's 1-0 and Salai has put it into the back of the net. And it's 1-0 Hungary after 22 minutes against the defending champions Portugal. And I tell you what, if you do win a game in the group stages, you are going to be unlucky not to be... The, the one of the four best third place teams. So that is huge. Um, having said that, how likely are we to actually finish third in this group? <laughs> you know, but what a ball that was from Nagel just on side. And Salai with the volley. It's 1-0 to Hungary. And straight away from the kickoff, I think uh, Rush, uh, Portugal may well spoil our day. Here's João Felix now to... João Cancelo on the right-hand side. He's still going. Cancelo into the middle and Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, you know, this absolute nobody from Portugal has, has come in and equalised. How very dare he spoil our party after a minute. They could have at least given us two minutes, couldn't they? 
Here we go again. Nago with the throw. Nago still on the ball. Gets it in. Uh, Shabala's eye was there. Here's Nago again. Get it in there, son. Go on, Nago. Get it in. Go on. Yes. <laughs> Klein Heisler has just scored just before half time. And it's that man, Nago. On that right-hand side, once again, what a brilliant player he is turning out to be. Our right-back, of course. Uh, Klein Heisler sticks it into the back of the net, and it's 2-1 before half-time. Come on, Hungary. We're back in it. Another tight offside, is it? What What is this game now with tight offsides? Are they just proving that they're making the right decisions here? Well, here's uh, Galashi gets it forward towards uh, Salai, but now Ronaldo's got it. João Felix on the ball gets it forward to Ronaldo. Here's Guerrero on the left-hand side. Back to Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's press them. Come on, boys. Come on, Moutinho. Now Cancelo to Felix, and it's a great save from Peter Galassi there. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. And we hold on just about at the start of the second half. And here we go. Here's uh, Nago with the throw in, gets it to Klein Heisler, and here's uh, Sh Shazalai. Oh, it's in! It's in! It's Helenda! It's 3 1! <laughs> mind you, mind you, after what we learned yesterday with England, 3 1 is not a good enough score to be celebrating about as if you've won the match. We've got half an hour to go here, but this is starting to look a lot more promising. Well, here's Nago on the ball to Sh Shalai. Here's Kalmar on the ball. Don't lose it, son. We're pushing Portugal back here. Shabazai. Now to Salai. Loses it. What are you doing, son? But it goes back to the goat. Nago. What a brilliant player he is. Nago gets it forward. Klein has a... It's nearly 4-1. That was nearly 4-1. These are the defending champions Portugal were playing, by the way. Here's Galashi. Gets it forward. Klein Miser there. He nods it on. Here's Ruben now. Ruben gets it forward to Ruben Neves. Now Bruno Fernandes. This is a horrible team to look at. Uh, this is just such class. But here's Bernardo now. Bernardo back in to João Felix. Bernardo with a chance. And of course they're going to score that. It's 3-2 though. 3-2. We would take a 4-3 defeat. Let's just have that mentality. We would take it on the chin and say we push Portugal, Portugal all the way in a match we were never meant to compete in. Well, here's Nago on the right-hand side. Shazai, now Nago, cross it in there, son. No, he loses it. Here's uh, back to, to Willie Orban, who is wearing the captain's armband. He loses it, though. That was a poor pass, and that's what we can't afford unforced errors because Cristiano Ronaldo should have punished us there we live to fight another day but here's Bruno Fernandes gets it into the middle Rubens there oh we're on the counter-attack Nago gets it to, to Klein Heisler forward to Shabazai Shabazai on the ball and he misses it straight at the goalkeeper what are you doing son you're not at Man United uh, for all of that you played much better than that against Villa. Now Bernardo into the middle. We know set pieces are a weakness and that was just over the bar. We've got five minutes to survive here. I'm not going to change anything and just hope for the best. Oh, that was a poor ball. Oh, oh it's offside. It's offside. Yeah. Yes. Or is the referee going to call what is probably... The first ever goal to be allowed with VAR on this game. But that I don't know what he was doing. He's trying to get it to the goat, Nago. I mean, to be fair, Nago is the goat. So, I'm not surprised. I think we've done it. Yes! We've done it! <laughs> Three points against Portugal. Well, that is quite unbelievable. Let's uh, let's give them a good old pat on the back. Well done, folks. Well done. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't want to talk to the media. I can't speak Hungarian. We can build on the victory. Good stuff. Send assistant. He can go and speak Hungarian to the press. We've done it. We've done it. We've beat Portugal. <laughs> Oh, it's all going to come crashing down against France, isn't it?
Well, I've named an unchanged lineup because they are the heroes of this competition. We are back underway here in uh, Euro 2020 with Hungary. And here's Salai straight away. We're pressurising France. We're going to score. We're going to score against France. <laughs> 20 seconds into the match and Hollander has just stuck it into the back of the net. It's 1-0. I'm a genius. I mean, if we win with Hungary and none of the other 24 countries, I am absolutely fine with that. That is an incredible achievement from the group of death. We're 1-0 up within 30 seconds. Come on, Hungary. Here's Mbappe into the middle. Ooh. He almost scored from the corner there. Here's Galashi now. Boots it forward. Salai with the header on. Nobody there to get it. But Varane not looking too convincing with it. It's booted forward from the French goalkeeper. And uh, here's Kalmar now to uh, Sh Shalai to, to Kleinheiser. Kleinheiser still going. Go on, son. Gets it in. Oh. And Loris makes the save there. Wow, Portugal beating Germany as well. And uh, I was just thinking, Germany, uh, of course, have all of the fake players. So maybe we have a good chance against them. It, it has made me think we have a bit of a problem if, uh, well, if and when we, we do manage Germany. But uh, I'll have to think of that closer at the time, I suppose. I'll have to use the actual uh, editor file rather than the save file, but here's Kalmar, gets it to Hollander, to Shazai, now to Nago, the goat, Nago the goat, on the ball, it's 2-0, Kleinheisler scores, what a brilliant finish that was, and Nago the goat, another assist, I mean, he is going to be player of the tournament at this rate, that is insane, I mean, this is Thomas Estevez levels of brilliance, if you don't know Thomas Estevez, you've got to click that playlist of the Sir Alex Ferguson challenge at the end of this video. Or in the card in the corner. 2-0. Well, here we go again. Here's Hang Hangya into the middle. Ooh. He's still got it. He gets it to Kalmar. Kalmar again. Kalmar! <sighs> it was nearly 3-0. We're top of the group currently. Here's uh, Hangya again. Gets it into the middle and it's off the bar. What is going on in this tournament? Here's uh, Shazlai. I wish I could pronounce these guys. Shobaslai. Uh, here's Martial now for France. Martial still going. Good save by Galashi. Come on. Come on. Here's Tolisso. Oh, what a bad tackle in Kleinheiser. One of our best players is going to be booted off the pitch. Oh, Laszlo, what are you doing, son? He's our right winger. Um, right, what do we do here? I guess Hollander. Can he play out there? Oh, he can, actually. How's he? Yeah. yeah, why not? Um, possibly go back to balance now. I mean, we're 2-0 up with 10 men against France. What can possibly go wrong? And a set piece. But, hey... Well, I mean, what we found out here is that Hungary are better at, at, at uh, defending set pieces than England. And, uh, you know, I didn't know that before today. Here's Hernandez on the ball. Now to Pogba, to Kante. Hernandez on the ball again. It's blocked. Hollander gets it away. Now here's Varane. Varane gets it forward. Um, here's Sh Sh Shobolozai. Sh Shalai. Hanya. Oh, that was a poor ball. And here's Pavard. And long highlights in FM, always ending goals. And there it is, Kylian Mbappe gets them back on level terms here. Yeah, that's not fantastic, is it? Let's be honest. Um, although Nego is a goat going forward, uh, he's more like a donkey in defence. Here's uh, Griezmann. Oh, no. Oh, it's over the bar. I mean, we could potentially hang on. We could just stick 10 men behind the ball and hope for the best. But I honestly think we would get torn apart if we did that. Um, yeah, we're a man down. There's no pressure for you to succeed. Go out there, play the way that you've been playing. Here's Mbappe on the ball. Now Martial. Oh, 
Oh, it's off the post. Well, Griezmann, he forgot how to score. <laughs> Here's Nago. It's highlight after highlight in this match. Nago on the ball. Kalmar gets it forward. Hollander is a little bit slow. Maybe we shouldn't have put him on the, the right-hand side. We'll have to reevaluate that uh, when we make some substitutions. It's booted away. Now Martial on the ball. Mbappé. Mbappé still going. Oh, my word. That was a ridiculous assist. Oh, well, we're going to go attacking. You know, what have we got to lose here? Um, yeah, how quick is Hollander? Uh, apparently, he's, he's 13 pace. Um, who's this guy? Uh, Loven Krancix. Uh, what about... Norbert Ballo. Uh, yeah, not great. Um, what about Sommer? I mean, again, that none of these guys are fantastic, are they? Uh, <laughs> oh dear! Right, let's have him as a target man on support. Um. We could swap them two round. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better, actually. Uh, and I bet you this guy's a little bit more piercey. He's not, actually, but he'll do. He'll do. Um, is anybody having a bad game? I, I don't think they are. Uh, Shabolazai is. Let's get Nagy on for him. Um, yeah, Nagy can be our Mazala. That's fine. Right, so first substitution of the competition, 50 minutes in. I wouldn't be surprised if France go on to win 6-7-2 here. But if we go and grab another goal, who knows what can happen. Um, as it stands, we are still top of the group, amazingly enough. Here's Hernandez. Now to Pogba. Back to Laporte. Now to Varane. To Kante. To Tolisso. Now here's uh, Pavard. Pavard on the ball. Tolisso makes it 3-2. <laughs> oh, the honeymoon's over. But hey, we were 2-0 up against the world champions, having already beaten the European champions 3-2. I think we'd have took that at the start of the tournament. We're going to go very attacking, because as I say, we've got absolutely now to lose, other than potentially um, our third place, best place finished or, or whatever. But I do genuinely think if we go defensive now, France will just run all over us and, and score heaps and heaps of goals i don't think it will make any difference going attacking what it does give us is the the possibility and chance that we um bring it back to three all uh you know it, it, it's unlikely but i think if we go defensive it becomes impossible so we're not gonna do that we're gonna attack we're gonna play the hungry way and here we go here's Auburn. Salai, Salai on the ball, gets it forward to Hollander. Oh, what a chance that was. Well, what a pity. We won the first game 3-2. We lose the second game 3-2. Uh, a good spell from France in, at the beginning of the second half. Sealed it for them. And uh, you have to say they were the better team on the day once we went down to 10 men. That's what cost us in the end. Well, the final match is about to get underway. Another unchanged side. For some reason, the guy that got sent off is fine. He's not suspended. I'm not complaining too much. Klein Heisler is a fantastic player. I'll have you know. And uh, we're very, very happy. If we win, we're through. Portugal uh, are already third as it stands. Um, you know, even if we draw this match, we're through. So this is huge. Sorry, can we potentially do this? Um, who knows? Who knows? It is going to be uh, very, very interesting to see what happens. We're going to encourage the boys out there. Let's get them going. Here's Salai to Hangya. Hangya now gets it into the middle in uh, Jack Bauer with the save there. Of course, these German players, they're all made up. So I'm hoping they're all rubbish. That's the plan. Here's Salai. Gets it forward to Sh uh, Shazlai. Now to Hollander. Helenda forward, Shazlai with the chance. Oh. We have got a corner though. Shabozalai into the middle. It's away. He has Kleinheisler, the man who should be suspended 
but is playing instead. Good on him! Here's uh, Zischler, gets it forward to Seaboyd, and that's over the bar from the Germans. Well, it's half time, nil nil at the moment. This would be good enough to go through in second place as it goes. Let's go go out there, grab the goal to win it for us. We're going to go attacking. We're going to try and take the game to these German pesky so and so's. I'm going to win and we're going to get through to the second round, which is an awesome achievement. Here's Nago. You know, Kleinheisler, Shazlai. Here's Kleinheisler again. With the ball to Kalmar now. Kalmar on the ball. Gets it forward to Salai. That's in. Yes. <laughs> Roland Salai scores for Hungary in the uh, 61st minute. And we have gone 1-0 up. And what a performance this would be uh, if we were to get through in second place in the group of death. Hungary scored one point in my 100 simulations. They were... Got to the semi-final once in a in hundred simulations. So that is how bad it was going for them. But here's Schmidt on the ball for Germany. Is he going to break our hearts? Because I feel like if Germany win this match, here's Zimmer. Oh, it's in and that's a mistake from Galashi. If Germany win this match, I think we go out. So one all. All right. We'll accept it. We're going to go back to attacking because it was working for us. Here's Shabazai. Gets it into the middle. Salai's there. It's a penalty. It is a penalty. As long as the referee doesn't pick up the payment from the Germans on the, the TV screen there. Can he be bribed? Can he be bribed? That's a big question here. Carlos Del Carrero Grande. He sounds like a man that can be bribed. But he can't be. Yes. Right. Come on. Concentration now. 85th minute penalty. Shabazai steps up. Shabazai scores. Don't know how to say your name, mate. But Dominic, you are a hero. And you've just put your country, which is hungry, by the way, 2-1 up against Germany in the group stage. Okay, Germany are full of fake players. I don't give anything. <laughs> oh, dear. He has uh, Dyke Knight to uh, Zimmer. Ryman. Oh, and we've given away a penalty. Or was it outside the box? Now, we've slipped a tenner on there. Germany only went a fiver. We've slipped a tenner on there. Can he be bribed for a tenner? Carlos Del Grandi. Yes! <laughs> a tenner works. A tenner works. And it was a dive, apparently. Um, and it was outside of the box. So, um, there you go. We have been... Uh, we have been proven right to bribe him. He sounded like somebody that could be bribed. We slipped a tenner under the screen for him. And we are going to go through to the second round. I don't know how I feel. That's how far we got with England. <laughs> and I've just done it with Hungary. I don't know whether to feel happy, sad, or a bit of both. Well, here we go then. We've got to go into this match with no fear whatsoever. We're playing Spain in the second round of the European Championships. If we go through... Who knows what could happen. Uh, let's have a little look at the tree. I think it is possible if we go into uh, stages. Um, I, don't see, I, I still don't know why the tree doesn't work. Maybe people could let me know at some point. Uh, but here we are. We're going to go with our unchanged lineup. The lineup that seems to be doing really, really well um, in this tournament. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, all three of our results have been absolutely brilliant so nobody expects us to win let's go out there let's play our game and let's see if we can sneak a victory against spain well straight away here spain aspilicueta now to asensio to aspilicueta and asensio oh and it's in by ayazabal um and this is something we haven't had to deal with an early deficit Oh, drat. 
Well, here we go. We've got a chance. Here's Nago. Gets it to Kalmar now. Over the top. Here's Holenda. And he does equalise. We are back in it. 12 minutes on the clock. And Holenda has just stuck it into the back of the net. Well done. Okay, here's Azpilicueta. What's he going to do with it? Nago has got the tackle in, but he's a donkey in defence. Here's Sol. Now Sergio Ramos. Oh, and it's uh, away. And now here's uh, Kleinheisler. What's he going to do with it? I don't think it is Sergio Ramos. Kleinheisler gets it into the middle. Oh, here's Kalmar. Kalmar, spray it out wide. Nope, loses it to Sol. Gets it forward to Morata now. Morata with a chance. Oh, what a finish that is. That was absolutely incredible from Alvaro Morata. <sighs> it's 2 1 Spain. And oh, and they're here with another chance here, Sergio. With the ball now, Saul Asensio, good save by Galashi. He has been a little bit wobbly this tournament, but that was a, a decent save. He has Koke into the middle. It's away. Salai gets it clear finally. Asensio now on the ball gets it forward. Asensio again. Here's Saul Aspilaquena. Oh, I thought we were going to get it back there. Here's Simon in goal. Boots it forward to Sergio. Now here's Roberto. Morata. Roberto to Oyazabal. Koke. Gets it forward. Hang Hangyad gets it away. Here's Salai to Hangyad again. Sh Shazai. <laughs> oh, no. Here's Saul. Oh, and that's a poor, poor shot from the Spaniard. Oh, Yazabal now on the right hand side. He's still got it to Koke. Oh, Yazabal. Koke. Salai. Shabozalai. Sergio. Sol. Sergio. Morata to Asensio. Asensio still going. Azpilicueta. Morata. Oh, good block by Hanya. Now Shabozalai into the middle. It's in. It's in, and it was Salai with the goal. Roland Salai has made it to all in the 50th minute. We are still in this as Hungary. We are going pound for pound with the top teams in the tournament here. This is unbelievable. Shabazai on the ball. Still don't know how to say his name. Good old Dominic there. Morata, now Roberto. Roberto. Oh, Yazabal into the middle. Saul. Ho, ho, ho. That was just over the bar. It was very, very close. Galashi now gets it forward. Oh, Auburn. Galashi. Don't lose it carelessly here. Boots it forward, but only as far as Sergio Roberto. Now, Oh, Yazabal on the ball. Now, Koke to Sergio. Oh. Koke again, Oyazabal, now Roberto, good tackle by Shobazlai, now Hanya, Kleinheisler, come on, oh, gets it forward to Hollander, oh, it hits the post, <sighs> oh, that was close, now he has Nago to Kleinheisler, to Nago again, Nago to Kalmar, Kalmar to Nago, out wide to hang it. Forward to Salai. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we're 3-2 up. 60 minutes into this match. We're 3-2 up against Spain. This is, is just absolutely bizarre. This tournament so far. But hey, we are scoring a lot of goals. Here's Hanya, gets it into the middle. That's away by Saul. I thought it was maybe going to drop for one of our players again. Asensio now pushing forward. Is he going to shoot? He does, and it's a great save from Galashi. It was just absolutely braid at him, but he knocks it over the bar. Here's Koke now into the middle. Sergio Ramos with the header. Oh, that was close. Here's Sergio now. Pow. Koke and send of highlight. No more of them, please.
Suso gets it into the middle. Kalmar away. This is an absolutely gladiator performance from Hungary so far. We are just doing so well. But here's Fabian into the middle. Oh, Saul, it's off the line. Shabazai away. Here's uh, Shazai now. Here's um, Salai on the left-hand side. What can he do with it? He's still going, but loses out. And it's end of highlight. Surely, come on. Eight minutes left. Oh, five minutes of uh, added time here. Here's Saul, and that's a red card for Kalmar. I suppose it's better. You get a red card, you get it out your system. Right. I think it's time to shut up shop. Um Right, what do we do here? Lang comes on for uh Shazalai. He goes straight there. Have we got any yeah, we have got Nagy. So Nagy can come on for, well, Salai's been brilliant. So I, although he's just come on, we're going to bring these two back. We're going to have Salai on the left-hand side, Hollander up the top as our target man. And just absolutely go very, very defensive. Stick him on goalkeeper duty and hope for the best. Hope and pray. We got three minutes to hang on here. Thirty seconds to hang on. Oh no, there is a final highlight. Oh my God, we are gonna be, we're gonna be FM'd here. Oh, what a save from Galashi! What a save! Surely that has done it. That was surely the chance. Although Lang missed it, it's gone out for a goal kick. That's got to be full time, and it is. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we are in the quarterfinal, everyone. I mean, who are we going to be playing in that quarterfinal? Let's go and find out, shall we? Klein Heisler's uh, injured with a tight hamstring. How long's he out for? Only a day. He didn't play very well anyway. We're going to send the assistant. I can't speak Hungarian, as we keep saying. Who are we going to be playing in the quarterfinal? We'll find out very, very shortly. It's not Israel. So here's some more teams playing. This is also very tense. Who's it going to be? <laughs> Hungary? England? At uh, England? <laughs> Scotland! Well, I, t I tell you what, Scotland. That's winnable. That is winnable. I mean, Scotland, to get to the quarterfinal, who is in this quarterfinal? So, Austria versus England, Croatia versus Belgium, Scotland versus Hungary, Portugal versus Italy. Yeah, there's no way for us to look at the tree, unfortunately. But boy, oh boy, we could be onto something here. Well, as always, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Our fifth consecutive unchanged lineup in this tournament let's go out there let's let's win it boys come on robertson now mcgregor gets it forward to ryan fraser on the ball for scotland robertson world class uh, left back of course for the scottish oh it's a way by nago now forest mm, bad tackle by hangya but uh i'm not that bothered i'd rather that and concede, <laughs> which we may well have done there. Well, we've got a free kick on the edge of the box here. Can Shabba's light stick it in the top corner? <laughs> he nearly did. He nearly did. Oh, that was close. That was off the post. Here's Hangya. Now Salai. Now Shabba's lie. Oh! That was... Robertson, now Fraser, Scotland on the ball here, looking good, Fraser pushing forward, can we get the tackle in, oh, that was a nasty tackle, but we just about got the ball, oh, what, what, what on earth have we just done there, 
Oh, we're going to have to berate the boys for the first time in the tournament. Oh, I mean, what was Kleinhausler doing here? Oh, it's 1-0 Scotland. Right, come on, come on. England have beaten Austria. That looks like a dramatic finish, doesn't it? Three goals in the last 15 minutes. Tierney to Hanley. Tierney again. Here's McGregor. Gets it forward to Forrest on this right-hand side. Good tackle by Hanya once again. McBurney now to McGregor. Fraser, McGregor, Robertson. Andy Robertson. Oh, well. I think it's all over, folks. I don't know if we can score two goals here. We're going to bring on a couple of fresh, fresh legs to see if we can do it. But this is, is going to be seriously tough now. Still 50 minutes to go, though. 50 minutes. Come on, boys. Here's Nago. Boots it forward. Loses it, though, to McTominay. We just look like a team that has ran out of steam. How? We've played France, Germany, Portugal, Spain, and scored pretty much three against all of them. At least two. And now we're going to get beaten by Scotland. Well, here's Tierney to McBurney. McTominay, Forrest. Oh, my word. We do not deserve this. This is not how we were meant to go out of the tournament. Oh. Hey, we've we've got to we've got to say you know a quarter final result with Hungary is is almost like a win. Um, but this was a winnable quarter final. But Scotland have just been on another planet here. They have been on another planet. Forrest has scored a hat trick. Here's Hangye. It's away, and it, it's a shame we're going out with a massive whimper. Kalmar. Ballo, nah, loses out, and yeah, they're gonna come back heroes. This this hungry side getting to the quarter final, but they have embarrassed themselves today. Four 0 against a Scottish side that you know was was out there to be beaten, but uh, I might be wrong. Scotland might end up going on to win this tournament, and hey, if they play like this. There's every every chance they could do 5-0. I mean, what a performance from Scotland. I mean, what a header this was from Christie as well. That was awesome. Looping header. And our defensive weaknesses have been very much exposed today. And oh, I don't want it to be 6-0. But it is going to be. Oh, I mean, this was meant to happen against France. <laughs> this is just classic FM, though. You know, we, we've been the underdog all the way through, and then this match, where it was a little bit more evenly matched. Nah. You've had your fun now. Let's just embarrass you on camera, and, oh, it's another highlight. Oh. Oh. It's going to be 7 nil here. Here's Kalmar. Oh. <laughs> Christie on the ball. I mean, Scotland... I've played terrific stuff. They really have. I'm looking forward to taking control of Scotland whenever that may happen. Tierney to Armstrong now. Tierney still. Oh, just wide. Very unlucky. Two minutes left in the tournament for us. Galashi gets it away. Ballo and uh, Marshall. Boots it clear. Nago. Can we get one final? Hungry, bit of brilliance. Kalmar, Nago, Shabazai, forward a below. Mm, and that's the sort of thing that was going for us earlier in the tournament. But this match just hasn't gone our way, has it? But uh, hopefully it won't be 7 0, will it? <laughs> well, it's going to be, isn't it? Griffiths, good tackle. Here's Armstrong. Jack. Armstrong, full time. Fair play, Steve Clark, who has absolutely demolished us here. It, they have demolished us. It's it's fair fair to say. 
humiliation for Hungary. <laughs> oh dear. Well, let's go and see who wins the tournament, shall we? Well, let's find out who won it then. Oh, well, it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Belgium versus Scotland, though. Unbelievable. The semi-final, Belgium beat England. Scotland beat Italy. I mean, Scotland are going to end up winning this tournament. And I'm, we're going to be, be beaten by the winners, aren't we? Come on, Scotland! Yes! <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Scotland. Stuart Armstrong and Ryan Christie beat Belgium 2-1 in the final. I mean, if, if anything is to come from our defeat, at least it gave them the confidence to go on and beat Italy, to go on and beat Belgium. Wow! Scotland win the second Euro 2020 tournament of the series. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys, uh, pardon me, did too. Leave a big thumbs up down below if you did. Get involved down in the comment section. So many people did yesterday and it was awesome to see. Uh, subscribe for more Euro 2020 content and I'll see you tomorrow for another crack at Euro 2020. Goodbye.